All right, now to Lincoln, where State Senator Michaela Kavanaugh temporarily pauses her one-woman filibuster of every bill this session. The senator says she's reached a compromise with the Speaker of the Legislature on the measure she's re really opposed to, LB 574. That bill would ban gender-altering procedures for anyone under 19. KTV News Watch 7's Andrew Ozaki reports on the compromise, what it means for the session now that it's more than halfway over. Want to be true. After three and a half weeks of fulfilling her vow to grind the session to a crawl, I am going to take a break. State Senator Michaela Kavanaugh agreed to stop procedurally harassing every bill since the Speaker agreed to schedule the bill she really opposes for debate next week. If 574 uh, has its debate and fails cloture, we move forward with the session. Uh, the why is I think it's time to move forward with the session. LB 574, the Let Em Grow Act, bans gender-altering drugs and surgeries for those under 19. I think it's time to debate the actual bill and show the people of Nebraska that we will not legislate hate. Kavanaugh says she approached the speaker Wednesday after tensions boiled over. We both agreed that it would be best to stop talking about the issue on other bills, but rather debate the bill itself. With half of the session already gone, Arch has prepared senators for late night sessions ahead. Out of our 107 priority bills for this session, we have addressed only seven of them on general file. Kavanaugh says she's received a lot of support for her one woman filibuster, including this middle schooler who used part of her spring break to watch debate. I don't think anyone should have to feel like scared to be who they are. And I feel like it's awesome that she's fighting for people. I think that's so cool. Kavanaugh says if LB 574 advances next week or a bill that limits school sports and bathrooms to a person's biological sex at birth makes it to the floor, all bets are off. I will continue to do whatever needs to be done to protect our trans youth. In Lincoln, Andrew Rosaki, KETV, News Watch 7. You, Mr. President. Now we tried reaching out to Senator Kathleen Kauf, the sponsor of both the Let Them Grow bill and the Sports and Spaces bill. She was tied up in legislative hearings, not available for comment.